guys, right now what we're going to do, I want you guys to make sure you guys write this formula down in your journal. I need you to make sure as you write the formula down that you write R is equal to the radius of your circle and theta is equal to the measure of your central angle. You put central angle, but in radians. It's not in degrees. Your theta in this formula has to be in radians. So we're going to do problem number 19 together to help you guys understand what you're solving for. We're simply solving for what's called the length of the arc, also known as arc length. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to create a circle. So number 19. All right. Now, right now, if I wanted to show you the measure of this arc, I'm actually going to draw an angle that's about like this. So what I'd like to do is make a circle. We're going to call this point A. We're going to call this point B. And what I'm asking you to solve for is the measure of this arc going from A to B. This is theta. We're saying theta is equal to pi over 6. The radius of this particular problem we're saying is 10 centimeters. Now, some of you might be asking, well, how did I know to draw, make this drawing the way it is? Because I know that if I took pi over 6 and I multiplied it by 180 over pi, the pi's would cancel out and I would be left with 30. This is the measure of theta in radians. This is the measure of the angle in degrees. So understand, I just kind of estimated what type of angle? A 30 degree angle. So I knew pi over 6. Whenever time I, every time I see pi over 6, I know it's actually about, it's going to be equal to 30 degrees when I'm doing all these conversions. Okay? Now, in geometry, there was a formula that you would use to find the measure of an arc length. And the formula was this. 2 times pi times r times the degree that you had over 360 degrees. Okay? This would be the formula for arc length if you were in what mode? Degree, degree mode. Okay? But in radian mode, it's a lot simpler. <clears throat> in radian mode, it says your arc length, they call it f, is equal to your radius times theta. Well, what's the length of our radius? 10 centimeters. What is the measure of our angle to this particular problem? In radians, guess what? Pi over 6. So right here, if I took 10 and multiplied it to pi, I would get 10 pi over 6 centimeters. My exact answer, everybody, would be 5 pi over 3 centimeters. My approximate answer, I believe, is 5.2 centimeters. Okay? So this would be my approximate answer. If I were to go to the calculator, go to my calculator right here, if I can find it. Alright, turn it into my calculator. I'm going to clear this out and just do my radius, which was what? 10 uh -huh. times my theta, which was pi over, pi over 6. Press enter, and my approximate value was 5.2 centimeters. So, right now, all I want you guys to write down for problem number 19 is 5.2 centimeters. The reason why I drew the picture is to help you understand this is what you're looking for. When you're looking for arc length, that's what you're looking for. <coughs> okay? Next thing we're going to do, we're going to look for the area of a sector. And we're going to do the exact same theta, which is pi over 6. The area of a sector, our central angle, once again, is in radians. It's not in degrees. So remember, this formula, that theta is going to be in radians. R just represents the radius. So the 
formula, the area of a sector is a half of your radius squared times whatever your central angle is. So I'll make another quick little circle. I'm going to make a little drawing. What's going to be my measure of my angle in degrees? 30. Let's say from right here to right here. Now we're not finding what? We're not finding arc length, are we? We're not finding the distance from A to B. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find the area of a sector. So the area of a sector, everybody, is like saying, hey, what's the area of this slice of pizza? This right here, this little section, this section is called a sector of the circle. We're going to try to find the area of it. All we have to do is do what? Take a half of our radius. What's our radius in this particular case? 14. Square it and then multiply it by what? Pi over 6. And that will give you your approximate value for the area of the sector. Sometimes what I will do is I will give you your measure in degrees. What are you Convert it to. You're going to have to convert it to radians. Okay? So if I gave you this exact same question and said theta was equal to 30 degrees, you would have to take 30 degrees and multiply it by pi over 180, and that would get you the pi over 6 that you need. If I ever gave you the degrees instead of just giving you the theta in radians. So we're going to go to our calculator. Type it in exactly as it appears. One half of 14 squared, which is 196, times pi over 6. And that gives you an approximate value of 51.3 square units. So you just write 51.3 units squared. All right, so we're not going to put centimeters because it doesn't give us the value of it. And that's how you're going to find the area of the sector. And what does this formula only work in? It only works if you have a theta in radians. Make sure you have that in your journal as well.